Hello there. Uh, welcome back to grade 11. Uh, mathematical literacy. In this video, we want to look uh, at a question uh, from a past uh, paper of uh, 2019, and it's a common test. So uh, this is a much a common test uh, that we uh, have a question on. So our question is, uh, our next year shows the half year income and expenditure. Uh, statement for the Lions car hire for one, Jan one July 2018 to, to 31 December 2018. So um, uh, it is, you, I use an action D to answer the questions that follow. So you'd see that we have our an D here. So uh, basically uh, this uh, becomes our an D. So uh, we have uh, the title an D here. So uh, this we are going to uh, uh, make our references uh, to Alex and D. So um, for the first part of our question, it says define variable expenses. So to see, um, the variable expenses they are expenses that vary uh, with units. Uh, that is when units uh, uh, increases, we are also going to have uh, variable expenses uh, increasing. So uh, basically, uh, that's uh, the explanation that we have in terms of variable expenses. So we can just uh, go to our other section and try to put it down. Uh, so we can just say uh, variable expenses. Uh, expenses are that change. Uh, uh, with the number. The number uh, of uh, of units, uh, for example, uh, we can example give an example of maybe um, kilometers uh, as an example of a unit. So we are saying uh, if a uh, kilometers increases, uh, maybe I uh, are talking about uh, uh, the uh, transportation of goods. So when uh, when uh, uh, the kilometers that have been uh, traveled increases uh, as units, uh, we are going to see also the increase in variable expenses. So uh, this is our what we have in terms of uh, explanation in terms of variable expenses. So we go to our next uh, part of our question, which is uh, calculate the employer's um, uh, monthly uh, UIA contribution. So uh, we go to our annexation uh, and try to see where do we have uh, the UIF. So you would see that uh, we have our UIF here. So we are saying here if contribution we are having it here and uh here that's where now we have our our uif so basically we are saying uh, it's 2016 but at this 2016 if you go up uh, there in the beginning uh where we have our title uh we are given that it's uh income and expense in income and expenditure statement for the lion's car and that is from 1 July 2018 to 31 December 2018. So if you count the number of months that are there, you see that we have uh, six months. Uh, we have uh, six months. So uh, what it means is the figure that you are given there is for six months, which is 2016. Uh, 2016 uh, that we are in here represents uh, six uh, months. But if you go back to our question, uh, you see that uh, from provision. So obviously, to get the monthly, we are going to divide uh, 2016 divided by uh, six. Uh, months so that we can get the monthly. So basically, you say for the second part of our question, that is going to be our our four points, uh, four point two point two. So we are saying uh, 2016 runs, and uh, obviously, we divide, uh, we divide by six. Uh, which is six months and to get the monthly. Uh, if you divide there, you see that answer that you are going to get is close to uh, 336. So that becomes uh, the answer that we have on 4.2.2. So we go to the next part of our question, which says calculate the missing value x, uh, which is uh, total expense. So we go again and try to see where we have x. You see that our x is here, and it means total uh, expenditure. You see the description that we have here. Is saying total expenditure and the value that we need to see. So obviously, we need to add everything that we have under under expenses. Remember, uh, what we have in this column, uh, we are having expenses. So we just add it from uh two hundred and one thousand six hundred two, uh, to uh the last one which is uh seventeen thousand three hundred eighty one. Then I will get our total expenditure. So basically, uh, for our other section, we are just going to add a such. Uh, so we are going to say uh, 
and this becomes a 4.2.3. Uh, whereby we are saying uh, 201,600, 201,600 uh, plus uh, 2016, uh, plus 97,219 runs are 44 cents. Plus sixty-four thousand two hundred eighty runs, eighty-two cents. Plus sixty thousand seven hundred seventy uh, runs are uh, four cents. And uh, beneath that, we have got uh, two thousand eight hundred sixty-eight runs, and then we add uh, sixteen thousand six hundred and uh, sixty-eight runs, and then we get again twenty-three thousand eight hundred seventy-nine runs. Then we have got twenty-seven thousand five hundred one runs, sixty cents. And then we have 16,750 uh, rands, 82 cents. And we've got 10,776 uh, rands, 90 cents. And we've got 17,381 rands, 34 cents. So you see that the total of what you are supposed to get there, uh, the total uh, is supposed to be uh, 541,676 um, rands. And then we've 96 cents. So uh, basically, that becomes the total uh, that we have for. Expenses. So uh, we got to try to see in terms of the next question that we have, and uh, that is now 4.2.4. Calculate the missing value, which is y, and y is net income. So basically, uh, we come back to our next year. So we see that we got ye, which is uh, a description of, uh, of uh, let's try to see. This is our net in, uh, total income. Then we've got our net income, which we are going to say total. Total income less uh, total expenditure. So that's the formula that we are going to start use. So, uh, uh, which is we are going to uh, four point two point four, whereby we are saying uh, net income is equal to total uh, total income. Uh, we subtract according to uh, the information that we are given total income less uh, total. Total expenditure. So uh, this total expenditure. So uh, this is what we have. So our total income we can refer to our Alexia to see uh, what total income we have, but we have got a column for income that we have, which is this one. And we see that we've got total income here, uh, stated here, and now we've got a 686,046 pounds, 66 cents. So uh, we try to uh, put it there is, six hundred eighty-six, uh, 686,046 pounds, and then we've got 66 cents. And then we subtract total expenditure, and remember, we did calculate uh, total expenditure, and then we got 541,676. Uh, 541,676 thousand uh, runs, and then we get 96. 96. So uh, uh, this is uh, what we have there, and then we can calculate. Uh, we subtract 686,046 runs, 66 cents minus 541,676 runs. 96 uh, cents, and uh, you are going to get your net income is 144,369 uh, uh, runs uh, 70 cents. So uh, this becomes your uh, net income. So basically, that's what we have on that one. Uh, we we'll try to look at the next one. Calculate uh, around it off to one decimal place in brackets. The percentage of salaries or total expenditure. So basically, we are saying uh, 4.2.5. We are saying salaries is a percentage of uh, we given formula there that uh, salaries is a percentage of total expense. So it means our kilometer is going to be uh, total total expense. And remember, if you go back to the question, you'll see that it's a what? Uh, the percentage. So it means you're going to multiply by 100 over 1. 
So um, we check according to the next year, what figure do we have for salaries? Uh, we go there, we'll see that we've got our salaries here, uh, which is salaries, and it's, it's um, 201,600 uh, 201, runs. Uh, so uh, this is going to be our, our numerator. Uh, we are saying 201,600 runs. Then uh, obviously over. Total expenditure, remember we did calculate uh, total expenditure. And uh, total expenditure is the figure that we have expected for 1,676 uh, runs, 96. So this is going to be our, our denominator, whereby we are saying 541,000. 676 uh 96 pence and then we multiply by 100 over 1. So we calculate it uh, like that. Uh, we see that the final figure that we are going to get is our percentage. Uh you are going to get 37 uh uh 37 uh 37.2 uh 1775 percent. But if you go back to our question, we got instruction in terms of rounding off, rounding off to one decimal place. So uh, if you round it to one decimal place, we try to require take, uh, we have put one decimal place, we have put uh, two. And uh, between uh, behind two, we put one, uh, which doesn't change our two. So it becomes four two, let's say point. Uh, let's say when, at point two. Uh, percent. So basically, this becomes your, your percentage. So uh, for the last part of our question, uh, it reads calculate the, prof the profit rounded off to the to a whole percentage. For the lion's car, you may use the formula percentage profit equal to total income and total expenditure over total expense, and then profit the hundred one hundred or hundred percent. But remember, uh, we have already calculated uh. Total income minus total expenditure when we calculated uh, the, uh, let's just try to be fair break, we calculated net income, which is was equal to our uh, total income minus total, uh, minus total expenditure. So we are just going to take that figure and then we, uh, that becomes our numerator. And total expenditure figure also has it in what they got to do. So we go back there, we just uh, present it that way. So we're saying, Point uh, two point six whereby you see our net income and we just refer to the figure that we got for net income, which is here one hundred and forty four thousand three hundred sixty nine grams seventy six. So uh, that is our numerator. So we see one hundred and forty four thousand uh, three hundred and sixty nine. Uh, runs and then we've got seventy cents. The numerator, and then I'll check for. Or denominator say the denominator is going to be uh, your uh, expenses and that figure of expenses remember we also did calculate that figure is this one uh, which is 541,676 cents. so uh, this becomes your denominator here so we are saying 541,676 uh, and Ninety six cents. So uh, we multiply by hundred over one. Remember, uh, if we try, try to fair break, uh, we go to it's a percentage, so we go to multiply by hundred. Because it is hundred over one. So uh, if you multiply by here, you see that's the answer that we are going to get. It's twenty six point six five uh, percent. And if you refer back to our question, it says round uh, round up a what percentage, what number? So uh, we try to. Out is off to the whole number, which is we go to a six and behind six, we go to another six, which is in the next five to five to nine. So obviously, it will add one to six that will become uh 27. So our final answer becomes 27 percent. So uh, this becomes the last part of our question. So uh, this is what we've guys according to this video. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, let's not forget uh, to subscribe and share. Uh, and then uh, let's also not forget uh, to turn on the notification button after subscribing so that we get notified of new uploads. More typical examination questions are going to be uploaded on this channel. So let's get notified. Let's meet again in the next video. Thanks for this video. I'm out.